Hello and welcome to Kedrick Farms. Today we're going to be starting off our very first episode of a Let's Play series on Elm Creek in Farming Simulator 22. The game officially releases today. If you've not been able to catch the live streams we've done over the weekend, I've live streamed uh, six times at this point with different aspects of the game getting shown off multiplayer animals, production chains, etc. So make sure to check those out. We'll also be doing tutorial content on the channel, showing off all of the features and functions in Farming Simulator 22. But this series, we're going to be diving in to running an actual farm and getting into the gameplay. I am playing on PC, and so I will be adding mods as they become available here. For example, we have the very first mod that I converted to Farm Sim 22 the beautiful Kedrick Farm sign. And so if you are playing along on PC, I'll try to remember to link the mods as I use them, or at least mention where you can get them from. If you're on console, as mods become available on console, I'll definitely be taking a look at those mods on the Mod Hub. And so I'll try my best to specify when I'm using something that's not in base game and whether or not that's available on PC only or on console. So without further ado, let's dive into doing some farming. Now, normally I prefer to use mostly American style equipment. However, due to the nature of the game being just recently released, we're going to be trying out a handful of different mods on the farm here as we uh, get progressing here a little bit and we get a few different mods available to us. A little bit of money to buy the mods that are in game, etc. will be uh, probably gravitating more towards North American style content. However, right now we've got this Dutes Far top liner that we're going to be jumping into our harvest here. We do have seasons enabled and that's going to dictate how we play the game. If you're new to the farming simulator genre, seasons is going to uh, force us to plant our crops in the early parts of the year, spring and early summer, and then harvest them later in the year and kind of go through those uh, seasonal cycles. I will also be trying to play more or less as realistically as possible within the uh, limits of the game here. And so we are going to be using the manual shifting functionality. I'm also going to be playing with my steering wheel here. I have a Logitech G920. And if you're curious about the equipment and the PC stats and things like that that I'm using as we play through, there's a link in the description of the video uh, that has all of that information available for you. We've got a field of wheat here that we're starting out harvesting. And so we're going to be uh, taking this off here. We will probably leverage the AI helper system as we play through this series. Starting out here, though, I thought it would be fun to just take our very first few passes here with the combine all on our own. We've got a fair amount of equipment here on the farm. We've got a Massey Ferguson there hooked up to a uh, small grain cart. And then we've got two John Deere tractors over there. I believe it's a 7810 and maybe a 4755. I can't recall uh, exactly which 55 series tractor that is over there, but uh, we've got them hooked up to a small cultivator and a small seeder. It's a bit late in the year to do any seeding at this point. Uh, I don't think we've got too many winter crops that we're going to be able to plant, but we do have a fair amount of tillage we can get started on here. And so I think maybe after we make one more uh, pass here, we'll get the combine turned around and pointed the other way. We'll go ahead and start off uh, a helper here to finish up the harvesting job while we go and grab the other uh, tractors here and get them started off on some jobs as well. I think what I'll do is start the worker off along this far end of the field because I've kind of made a mess of the uh, other end here. And so we'll get him going right about here. I'm going to push H to hire the helper and we're going to hop out this ladder and let him uh, keep going here while we run over and grab a tillage tractor. So we've got the 4755. It looks like I was correct there. We're going to fire this guy up real quick. And one of the things that I'm really liking here in FS22 is that uh, we can't do anything with raising and lowering the attachments unless the tractor's actually running. And I am using the manual shifting here. So as I push my gas pedal down, 
you can see I'm in neutral and we're not going anywhere. The RPMs are just uh, revving there. So I'm going to give it a little bit of throttle and we're going to kick this thing into gear here. Bump it up a few gears and see if we can get turned around here. Now the fun part is I have to actually bump it into a reverse gear to go backwards. So it's going to take just a little bit of getting used to this here. And we're going to just bring this tractor right around here and start working, I think, on the far side of the field here. Now, normally I would probably take off some headlands, but I think we've got lots of space here on either side of this field. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this down and we're going to just get going here on this field. I think uh, this tractor is going to be quite well suited here to do in tillage. I'm going to do kind of some U shapes here. I'm going to tackle this far edge over here, I believe. Get us started here so I'm not uh, going so close to uh, things, not having to turn so tight. But uh, we're missing bits here. We're getting used to the controls and driving around here a little bit. My goodness. So I'm going to set down here. We're going to clean up this edge of the field where we just we made a mess. We'll get this all lined up here and set off a worker here on our tillage as well. We've got just a bit here that we missed. I was hoping we got all that. So one of the things you can see here is as we're doing this tillage work, we've got a little bit of rocks popping up here. Now these are smaller rocks, which in theory we should be able to roll back under the soil before we come in with a planter or a harvester or something here. We don't want to be hitting all these rocks with our equipment because that's going to cause damage to the equipment, which would be very unfortunate. So that's something we'll have to uh, investigate further here is uh, getting into some rock picking here. However, it looks like we're about done with our harvesting tasks. So I'm going to run up here to the combine get this guy all fired back up here. We missed one little stalk of wheat here, so we'll go ahead and grab that. Uh, actually, we missed two. It looks like there's a little tiny bit in the corner on the far end of the field here, so we might as well run back here and grab that as well. And there we go. So let's uh, go ahead and dump this into our grain cart here real quick. We'll uh, have to get out and untarp that, it looks like. There we go. And one of the things that I've liked about Farm Sim 22, for those of you that are coming from Farm Sim 19, is that uh, the combine does now have to be running in order to unload grain. There we go. We've unloaded our wheat. So next up, I would like to, I think, put this uh, header on our header trailer since we do have one available to us. I'm going to go in cab here to help me align this up a little bit easier to the center pad here. We'll fully square this up like so. And then if we go back external just to check where we're at on our trailer, I'm gonna lower this and then disconnect. Perfect, that's looking really good. So with that on the trailer, we're gonna bring this back into the barn shed over here by the house. I think that these doors were nice and tall, allowing us to keep our combine, which is probably one of the more expensive pieces of equipment on any farm in the shed here. All right, there we go. We're all parked up in the shed. We gotta be careful we don't put a tire into that pit there. So it looks like we're getting close on tillage here. I'm going to let him keep going on tillage and we're going to run over here and grab this grain cart and get our grain put into the silo system here. Oh yeah. So this uh, manual shifting thing is something that we're still getting used to, but it does seem to be working pretty good. Having different gearing on all of the different tractors is both uh, a little bit disorienting but also awesome in that each tractor drives very similar to how it would in real life, it feels like so far. And uh, I've actually driven a quad range before in this 7810, I believe, is set up as a quad range transmission. So um, that's a lot of fun to have to shift your ranges as you're driving. We drove just a little bit too far, so I'm going to see if we can back this up a smidge and I'm going to make sure our tip side is set to back at present and we'll go ahead and get this unloaded into the pits looking good and another great addition is as you stand next to a bin or a silo 
you can see that we are able to see the capacity there or rather how much volume of uh, crop we've got stored so we're storing 3695 liters of wheat in our brand new silo system here which is looking pretty snazzy so let's go ahead and bring this back up here out of the way um i actually liked where it was parked before so i'm gonna just put it right back here in front of our barn so with that out of the way let's jump into the tractor here we're going to uh wrap up this tillage that we've got here and so i'm trying to find the right gear for tillage it looks like we can go about nine miles an hour with this cultivator which offhand feels a little fast but it's a small cultivator i suppose we'll uh come up here and clean up our row of shame that we left earlier looking good here looking good and I think I've got just a little bit on the other side here. I believe I've got all the settings on to have the tractor and the cab bounce around here a bit as we're going. Uh, I like it. It feels very realistic. <laughs> very much reminds me of uh, actually being out on the farm, driving around, doing some tillage. And so I think it's cool. The sounds are awesome here in uh, Farm Sim 22 as well. So with tillage done, we're going to bring this back up and around and get it parked up here next to our 7810. And then we'll take a quick look at the uh, calendar and see what our plan is for the farm. We uh, are still getting used to this manual gear system, but it's something that I really want to use. I really want to see if I can get used to it. Um, we did turn off the clutching requirement. Since most modern tractors don't really use the clutch, you kind of pop it in and out with the uh, the power shift. So we're going to kind of go with this for now and see how it goes. We've got uh, lots of little rocks here. So one of our first purchases is very likely going to be a rock picker. But before we get to all that, let's uh, take a look here at some of the settings at the map and kind of figure out what we're planning to do here. So right out of the gate here, I'll show off. This is our little farm area that we own right now, which is fields 45, 44, 45, and 46. I'm looking right across the stream here. It looks like we've got individual fields, 47, 48, 49. These would be natural fields for us to expand into potentially. And in fact, it looks like this one is already wheat which is something that we have the equipment to harvest already. And looking at the growth stage, it's already ready to harvest. So we have to think really hard about whether or not we want to double down and spend a huge chunk of our available starting cash to expand the farm right away, uh, to make some more revenue or not. To answer that question though, let's take a look at the crop calendar. So looking at the crop calendar here is really interesting because the way they've set things up, is all of the wheat, barley, canola are winter crops here in the geo that they're giving us out of the gate with base game. And so this means we'll actually be able to plant again here in September and October and harvest these crops again the following year in the summer. We do have a cedar, so being able to plant these crops will be something that we can do. And so we've got to really think about that. Um, I think we're going to jump right back into planting some of these crops uh, since that's the equipment that we have to start with. And that means I'm much more inclined to actually expand our farm here. You can see here on the prices menu that we have our wheat in storage. And this is what the current buying prices are for wheat. I could get up to $345 per thousand liters for this right now. I am running on hard economic difficulty. If we jump down here real quick to the game settings, I've got the economic difficulty set to hard. I did set our seasons days to two days a month, which is up from the default of one day a month. I thought that would give us a little bit more flexibility with the weather, but especially as we're starting the game off here, I didn't feel that there was going to be a lot to do each day, so I didn't want to have to skip a lot of days uh, to get us through the seasons. As we continue playing the game, we may extend how many days are available in a month. This will give us uh, more opportunity to experience different kinds of weather and do different things. 
Uh, we do have snow on. We are playing with crop destruction. The plowing requirements, stone, lime, weeds, you name it. We've got it all turned on right now. Uh, we're also going to play with this new feature called Trailer Filly Limit. As we start to uh, haul lots of grain around, we'll talk about that more. I've covered this in my live stream, so if you're really curious, uh, go check out the live streams that I did on the re early release weekend for FS22. So with all that said, I think we've made our decision. We're gonna go ahead and buy field 47 with the money that we have. If we look at the finance screen, you can see here, we don't have any loans out yet. We did start on the new farmer mode to get the starting farm and equipment. And then we set all of the settings up to the harder difficulty level. So I'm now having some regrets that we put the uh, combine away already. So we gotta get this thing fired up and we're gonna go harvest one more field here. Since this field is right on the other side of the uh, creek from us here, we don't really even have to leave the farm to go get to it. And so we're gonna just uh, hook this header up here and take it with us. It's a pretty uh, small header, so I don't think we're gonna have any problems getting back to that field here. And uh, actually, before we go all the way back there, I think what I'm gonna do is get this other tractor out and hire a worker to plant some canola for us. If you remember, looking at the crop calendar window here, we are gonna plant some more wheat and barley here in the uh, fall months, but it's already early enough that we can plant canola right now in August and kind of get that going. And whenever possible in a game like this, when we have so many pieces of equipment, I really like to attempt to keep our equipment moving keep the different tractors kind of going here and so we also wanted the opportunity to show off the ranges on this tractor so you can see i'm in fourth gear in range a if you look at the lower right hand corner of the screen here and so i need to jump up a range into range b and so you can kind of see the tractor jump ahead here as we shift ranges i'm going to go ahead and shift us up into c and again up into D, which is a road gear. So we're able to go significantly faster as we get into road gear. Now I'm gonna put us back down into range B to start uh, working on this field here. We'll get this all unplanted. We're gonna get our canola seed selected here, get it all fired up, turning it on causes the RPMs to rev. We got the PTO running now, and we're gonna go ahead and start planting here. There we go. Now it looks like we're pulling pretty good here into the RPM, so I'm gonna go ahead and shift up to range C, and it looks like now we're in a much better kind of RPM miles per hour spot, so. Range C seems like it's going to be the appropriate spot for us. Also works great for uh, backing up right until you forget to put it back into a forward gear. You get so used to playing the old school way of just brake goes backwards and uh, gas goes forwards that we're going to have to remember how to drive our tractors here all over again. But uh, yeah, this thing seems to be pulling this cedar quite well. So we're going to go ahead and hire the helper off here and let the planting continue here in our absence. With the planting happening in the other field, we can drive the combine across this uh, rather deep gully here and get over here to where we've got this new field that we just purchased, field 47. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be a nice little boost to our profits for the year. Some extra field to get harvested. However, I think this is gonna be a great place for us to wrap up the first episode. Next episode, we're gonna dive into wrapping up this harvest, checking out some more of the game mechanics available to us. We may even get around to selling some of this grain that we've harvested and seeing what other things we can get into as the months progress here on Elm Creek. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's episode. Stay tuned for lots more Farming Simulator 22 content. That's all for today. Keterk out. Oh my goodness, we're all over the place here.